Hey math kids, we're going to do one more of these. And we started with this system of equations, plugged it in. Notice that there is an A, and then A is a real number. They ask us to put it into row echelon form, which is, I, I hadn't used that name before, but it's just where we have these diagonals of ones. It's what we've been doing the whole time. Um, okay, so our first goal is to make a zero. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply the top row by a negative 1. And that way we can add it to the bottom row. So the top two rows don't change. Then we add, get a 0, add, get a 10, 10. Then we get an A plus 1. All right. From here, we want to try to make a 0 above or below. And so I'm just going to do a multiple. So I get negative 2, 4, 2, 2. And the top row stays the same. The bottom row stays the same. And then we, when we add to the second row, we end up with this. All right, from here, I'm going to do a negative 2 multiple. of the second row. Okay. Top row stays the same. Second row stays the same. Bottom row becomes 0, 0, 0. And then A minus 29. Now, that bottom row, since it's all zeros, it could either be 0 plus 0 plus 0 <coughs> equals something that's not 0, which would create no solutions. Um, that's not a good situation to be in. So we want to force it to be in the situation where 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. And so the value that makes that true is going to be a is equal to 29. Um, so um, the system will have no um, solutions unless a is equal to 29. Now part b says for what value of a does the system have no solutions? Um, oh, I guess I just answered that. So um, A is not equal to 29, creates no solutions. A is equal to 29, creates infinite solutions. Now C says, under what conditions does the system have infinitely many solutions? <clears throat> we mentioned that right here. And then find the solutions <clears throat> in this case. So what we're going to do, let me erase this, get some room. Um, what we're what we're gonna do we're going to uh, set it up like the stuff at the beginning of this section um, we're gonna let Z be equal to T and then um, when we do that if we're looking at row 2 right here we're going to get uh, Five y plus five t is equal to fifteen, and we can divide everything by five, and so that means y plus t is equal to three. So we have these two things. Um, whoops, I shouldn't have circled that yet. We want to solve it for y, and so y is equal to three minus t. So we have both of those. And then if we want to use um, the top row, we're going to get negative x. So I'm just I'm using these numbers. Negative x plus 2 times y, which is 3 minus t. Let me get rid of some of this. 
side of my room. And then plus z, which is just t. And then that equals 1. Okay, I'm going to distribute negative x plus 6 minus 2t plus t equals 1. Um, if I combine those, it's just negative t. So negative x plus 6 minus t equals 1. And then move everything on to the other side that's not x. And then I'm just going to switch the signs. That's what I get for those. And so these are the solutions to that system. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculate.